Welcome to TVFutures.com. It's Wednesday, October 31st. I'm Remy Hookie for Commodities Recap. NYMEX crude oil futures ended the session at a new record high of $94.53 a barrel. The EIA reported earlier today that U.S. crude inventories fell unexpectedly in the latest week for the lowest reading in two years. December crude closed up by $4.15, or 4.6% a barrel, on the NYMEX. It hit an intraday high of $94.74 in electronic trading. The EIA reported that crude supplies fell 3.9 million barrels in the latest week. Also, refinery utilization declined 0.9% to 86.2%. Also, gasoline supplies rose by 1.3 million barrels, while distillate stocks rose by 800,000. Elsewhere on the NYMEX, November, our bought gas and rally 3.7% to close at $2.34 a gallon. Meanwhile, heating oil for November delivery added 3.4% to $2.5078 a gallon. And December natural gas rose by 4.2% or 33.5 cents to close at $8.356 per million BTU. And over in the metals complex, gold futures surged above $800 an ounce after the Fed Reserve cut the Fed funds rate by a quarter point. In after hours, electronic trading, COMEX gold advanced to $800.80 an ounce, the highest level in nearly 28 years. In the regular trading session, gold rose $7.50 to settle at $7.95.30 an ounce. And also on the COMEX, silver added 11 cents to end at $14.438 an ounce. This afternoon, we're joined by Phil Flynn from Aloran Trading. He'll recap today's session in energy futures. Well, the Fed mentioned energy prices, they mentioned inflation, but they didn't mention anything that would stop this raging bull market in commodities. Once again, oil prices soar to all-time highs. Really concerned about today's uh, inventory report that showed another surprise drawdown in crude oil and it's really raising the question that whether do any energy Miami. prices from right. right now this market closed at a new all-time high the first time ever dollars a barrel and with another fed interest rate cut it seems that the demand for oil is going to continue to stay strong at least for the rest of the year if not into next year so if you've rate got cut, a fed interest plus. a surprise drop in inventories you put the two together it's the rest to be more than today. Obviously, the dollar Obviously. being under pressure is going to impact the price of oil. It's going to keep us strong. Um, but the other thing, of course, is the demand numbers. The demand numbers are still hanging in there. So there's really nothing in the inventory number that, that really seems to suggest that we're seeing a big slowdown in energy demand at this point. So basically, it's all oil. Oil. It's really and so much for profit taking. Now, that was a one day. It'll be interesting to see if we can continue this explosive move tomorrow. This has been your commodities commentary with Phil Flynn from Aleron Trading. I'm Remy Hoki. Join us for your latest commodities update right here on ETVFutures.com.